It does feel a little different, but you will kind of get used to it. Okay. It is normal for Hey there folks, this is Patrick McDowell. I'm here on Bellarmine's campus today at a blood drive held by the Kentucky Blood Center. Let's go to a couple of the donors and staff to find out more. Um, I'm here today because um, I've donated in the past and I've had a great experience with it and it makes me feel like I'm saving lives or helping someone else out. They were actually really nice. Um, I know the assistant who helped me out was really friendly and she assisted like all of my worries because like I said before I was scared that I was going to pass out and she kind of reassured me so it was nice. Just to hop off the top of my head we're probably here uh, or try to be at least four maybe five times a year uh, with breaks and all that and all the holidays coming up I'm not sure how many more times we're going to be here at the end of the year but uh, we try to keep it around four or five. How many units we've got today? We're a little bit on the low side. We've only gotten three. However, we have seen around 10 to 15 people, so that side is good. We have just had a lot of deferrals or things that have kept people from donating here today. What are some reasons that people can't donate blood? Uh, low iron, anything wrong with their vitals, like high blood pressure, low blood pressure, high pulse, low pulse, low temp, high temp, stuff like that, uh, travel, unregulated tattoos like unlicensed there's a whole list I can go on and on but the main ones are tattoos travels uh, incorrect well we can't say incorrect but uh, low or high vital signs um, anxiety try to kind of knocks people out and uh, unsuitable vein selection for our needle tends to hit people the most as well we get your blood type uh, we do our standard panel of testing however we don't uh, disclose any of that information with you unless a positive test result does come back just so that way we're not trying to invoke fear. And even if there is just one positive result, we retest you three or four times just to make sure. But um, just a little wellness check, um, your iron, cholesterol, stuff like that, and all you would do at a doctor's office, you get back. Um, I think that, I mean, blood is always a necessity. Obviously, we need it to live. Um, and even people that have simple surgeries can lose blood, and they need even a simple appendectomy you can have two to three blood bags. So being able to say that you help somebody with your blood um, is something that's it's, it's important. You can donate when you're 16 if you have parental consent. 17 is when you can um, donate without anybody's consent. Um, we look for anybody. Deferrals come from about anything from your past, from the way that maybe your blood pressure is to what your iron is like. Um, but we look for people that are, you know, 17 and over. I mean, I donated for the first time just a couple weeks ago and finally found out my blood type, uh, which actually opens the opportunity for me to be able to donate plasma and platelets because my blood type um, is universal for platelets and plasma. So I think it just, it, it opens up the opportunity to not only be able to give blood, but maybe even do more. Thank you for coming out to Bellarmine's Blood Drive. We don't know when the next one will be, but we hope to see you there. Hope that you've learned a little bit about the behind the scenes here, but thank you for joining us. See you next time.